Baron. Oh, oh it finds AK up. That is a huge kill for the Philadelphia Fusion of everybody to go down. Oh! And Kirby with the headshot. Kirby with the follow-up. Finally getting to show some skill here. That's what it's all about. Carpe, the return to glory. Happened around it, but that's it. All of pain. They have stabilized here. Corey's on the Soldier 76 for the mobility to be able to run back, but they're nearing a, a nano boost as well. Oh, there it is. EMP right over the top. That's a whole lot of hacks. Oh, that oh, is oh. brutal. The stick from Erster. Four kills. No way to defend themselves. Erster just aced it. Six kills for him. Final blow. Using this DPS defense. Whoa, nice shot from Shadowbird. Oh, Damage boy. off the wall. Gets Char the way out. And a okay. punch. What? A quad for Shadowbird. Shadowbird. <laughs> He's back. Had a chance to get their input. And now they're on the same level. But from on high, Jinmo just doing his thing, cutting off some of these angles, making him a harder target to hit. And in the meantime, Elsa working on that back line. Lots of juicy targets. It is tough to nail everybody with an EMP on the defense, but he is going to go ahead and manage to pick up a few. That was a hard act, and this is a wipe. All right, Justice rains from a very silly place. Godspeed gets bumper and slime, though. This one might get pushed back a little bit here. I think it might. Johnny there, all right. Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Can he do it? Grenade's Can already he off them. He can indeed. There's Gogushwe. Adora, welcome back, Hoxall. Godspeed, though, returns with a couple kills of his own. <laughs> this is insane. You can see Sato is trying to work his way around the side. going to swing in and then tag the point. Okay, wait oh. in the corner. Okay, here he goes. Yep, gonna pop out, just waiting for the rest of the squad to appear. Now it's gonna be the nano Perfect. blade coming through. EQO already gonna be taken out one That's slash reset. onto Carpe. Finds that kill. Ivy gets himself a quad with the blade. Everyone who played when Brigida was released. Yeah. GM needs to get a good stick here. Not gonna be able to D-Mech anybody quite yet. Still looking for opportunities. That's a nano boost to Reaper with a death right. blossom. Here we go. He's gonna try to come in. Die, die, die. He gets two. Be falling as well, and Shanghai Dragons, they waited till the last second, but they may just have done it here. Looks like they will. Hongjo Spark couldn't hold long enough, and Shanghai Dragons are still alive. Toughest part for the Dragons, they just need to be stable. Oh, Look at the dust. Like from behind the dead eye, coming and down. Double. The pharmacy cop is right out of there, taking coma. Both say goodnight. Another shot, the headshot there onto the end, takes him out the head onto Gagory in midair. Winston in your face, the Diva on one side. Oh, by the way, Sombra invisible running around. Oh, Masso's in trouble! Oh. That's an angel grounded. Carpe looking for Erstu, who now just needs to stick behind the lighthouse, but a mercy down. It's huge! Making two supports! Oh! <laughs> again and again, Carpe delivers! A hard task to pull off, but this triple right here, Happy, the thing about watching him play Widows, he makes it look easy. His ability to move from target to target so quickly is what makes him such a good Widow. Oh, that was a sick first shot on his side. That was great. Nano boost on Chara, of all things. Just chunking out everybody. Or comes around the side with a poison trap, of all things. Gonna be taking him down. Ivy's Corey! Down, but Corey gets another one on the hand me. The pop thrown in. Sounds like just trying to zone him out. Corey looking for another angle. Spots him! He takes out Neko, and this could be it. Ivy another gonna one. be eliminated! And we've seen that, and that is the usual place that teams run the bumper composition, so we're gonna see more of it. All right, here we go. Nano boost used. Shadowbird comes in with the nano boost and oh, three. three kills already. Jeez. We're reaching peak Shadowbird. And that is Florida Mayhem getting slaughtered again. Gray falls in the process, but Paris self destructs doesn't catch anyone, but Decay, he gets one. There's Reflect turning it around, has a drag laid out, but can't find any kills, just the one with the down. And Layer Massa down as well. Oh, and Decay, the follow-up kills after the ultimate. That is gonna be the trick. One tick taken at this point easily here by Gladiators. Can they finish it off? Lynx has been really taking names on the Soldier too all around. Oh, good. It's always a good meta where Lynx can play the Soldier. Stitch in trouble too. Man, there's nothing you can do. He's got the biotic field. He can just heal through the damage. Chandu taking a lot of damage too. Lynx are popping off, man. On this oh! Gets the elimination on the back. Dante Fish. Oh, oh, there goes live. <laughs> Lynx are just back. popping off right now. Wow. The time going up, going down here. Okay, and Widowmaker, this is taking me back now. Okay, sees the trap. Fisher's dropped from the high ground, so you needed somebody you could cast. 
Orisa shield broken. Dallas is still relatively durable. Fisher has to. Oh, Jexel! Oh, no. That's the pick! That's the golden shot! And he's got another one! I can't oh. back! Three kills with the Widowmaker! And the Dallas Fuel have found the key! And they have split! Ringlet Young back will be in his mech in just a moment. Oh! Seymour's brought to a complete stop with the EMP. That's gonna yield the results. And Jesu oh. gets himself free. That's what it looks like to get worked in the neutral by an absolute giga chat. Beautiful take back. And Hunters stay in the fight. Still in overtime here, but Haksa will be dealt with. And yeah, Johnny not far behind. That Ellen down Dante. And Jake, especially when he comes in for those EMPs. Lakes are, however, gonna find the first kill. MP gonna be taken down now. Roki! We saw this from him at the World Cup in Anshan. This man is out of control. Gets another shot there on the aid. Under a little bit of fun. Oh, 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 he gets oh, oh. it! Mid sleep start. He didn't even hit the ground yet! Bacon Jack coming up the respawn immediately with his tack fight. Just goes right up to the high ground, able to pick up two. We've seen this happen at teams before. Trying to play Chongdu's game, they get lost in a haze of bloodlust and they wake up with the loss message on their screen. They've got to keep it together, but Shadow Bear, that was very classy. Kio and Bacon Jack both fall in quick. Oh, exactly. <laughs> what a connection! Threading the needle! Oh, it must be so awesome to be able to do that. I <laughs> can't touch this! Tether just knocks Nazari around. They're trying to find a single target that's not in the sky who wanders too close to the wolf's den here, but Jinmu gets in there very early. He's just pumping in damage. Look at this all charge already. Almost has Barrage. Yeah, he almost has Barrage. This is sick. Now he knows that Diva doesn't have boost, at least for a couple of seconds. He could just plummet in. And sure enough, just gonna go ahead and eliminate Swan. No answer possible for the mayhem. What great awareness from Jinmu. He knew it all. Should play some of these different heroes. Hunting, puppets on the pirate. This is about to get good. So this is that quad DPS composition with the Hammond, uh, the Wrecking Ball as the tank here. This is going to be interesting to see. We've seen a few teams have actually played this. We know that this has been something he's done in scrims. Masato's down already. There is so much damage available for London here just to dish out and really know it. They're trying to take shape. And this is why you need the Winston sometimes on defense because you're scared of this happening. So when, when they come out with this quad DPS, you need Winston on defense to make an impact, and everybody's happy to see Widowmaker back. His last season has the plays in mind. Look at this flank from Dude. Jinmu, too. Look at those. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the whole team, another one. The whole team just really knows how to play around. Whoa. 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 Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> Jinmu, you beast! Threat here, Immortality Field comes out just at the last moment, keeps him alive for now. But now Zephyr getting demaxed as he tries to deal with Carpe. It's not gonna work, and Philadelphia Fusion rolling over the floor to Mayhem right now. The last members trapped back in the little room, and that's all you need if you're Philadelphia Fusion to tie up this series. They will take Temple of Anubis. Gorgeous execution, Noah. Gorgeous. That is how it should have gone the first time, given their positioning. That time they get. A Brigitte shield right in front of Saya. So everyone, you know that he's your pocket. You know that he's the carry, and everyone's in on the action. And that's why he makes it look so easy. Unbelievable. Just not missing a single shot. All headshots. All headshots. Oh, baby, babe. Oh, it's effects again. Not a shred of respect for Baby Bay, and that's going to be frustrating. Nevix looking for the flank with the micro missiles, but it's not going to be happening. They have popped their Valkyrie, Baby Bay now back into this mix to try to find the angle on the man who's made his life absolutely miserable. In effect, a later transcendence is going to be a better transcendence, but a fact! There we go, buddy, there we go. Going to clean up when his other pressure comes in, but he's got to be your. Priority number one right now, and look at this. He's just taking another angle. Oh my god! Oh, there we go, Saya! Triple kill from him! The huge plays! Just tombing him! Get out, Valiant! So sick, Saya! Well, this is an example of how to hard carry, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, Saya player. Taking the point, can they do it? Ooh, they can, they flip it, get the control percent. Rolling early, Jonak does go down, Arez comes in from NYXL, and here comes Pine. Gets one, gets two. Looking for a bit more, gets another one. Are you kidding me? This guy is gonna single-handedly change the point back over He's to gonna NYXL. gonna kill everybody. Oh! Okay, Pine, big boss Pine is on the scene. A different pick for him, the Tracer coming out, which is definitely something we know we can provide for us. 
This, uh, I mean, this is something else, right? Over the top. <laughs> doesn't even... Come up, kind of wants to play safe until that happens. Doesn't take that shot. There it goes for the grapple on the edge. And Whoa! he gets that on the edge! It doesn't matter. Short for wins. That is how you win a game. Off the edge with the shot. That is a bargain bin fight win. All they had to do... Oh, oh I'm this sure is going to be, gonna be yeah. pretty impressive. Can't be. Oh, like a butterfly <laughs> stinging like a Mack truck to the face. Beautiful. Noticing there's, there's a lot of noise going on, so it's hard to hear the, the tone. But Solo are already two thirds of the way to capture this one, and now it's going to be a narrow way. Toby Libro going to go in here. He's found there already. Look at that for Toby. Decides to silver bite for the optimal target there. A slash through, and it's a nasty. Oh, Libro! It's five kills. Ten HP left. Matrix here to deny him. And Mano all the way in the back line. There we go. The stick and the boom. Not quite going to find the kill because Mano goes primal. I'm a little curious as to why that, but Sebiobi opens it up. He gets a plus one. Sebiobi just killed both supports. All right, then. There we go. Sebiobi decides to take matters into his own hands. He's done playing. He's done playing with your mistakes. Is dead. He gets the team against Sebiobi. Running amok. All the kills. And that is it. You, just, you can't mess with this guy.